It's your boy Breezy. If you're here looking to see what the Nike GT Cut 3 has to offer, stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. Sport fresh nights, dark skin, cream filled, ladies get your blind nights. Smoke with the clips, blind dog, just to get my mind right. <laughs> Sport fresh nights, dark skin, cream filled, ladies get your blind nights. Smoke with the clips, blind dog, just to get my mind right. Padlock every verse, just to keep my rhymes tight. Spitting that crack shit, just to keep y'all things hype. And they say the money you changed me. I'm from GI, how the fuck could you blame me? And this the home of the killer shit. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson, home of the thriller shit. Damn, and I don't really mean to. Okay, first, as you can see, I did a lace swap. If you want to see the shoe before the lace swap occurred, then you're going to have to go check out my video of the Nike GT Cut 3. It's in the description. Anyway, for looks, I'm going to give the shoe a 5 out of 5. I really like it, all right? Now, for comfortability, this is by far the second, maybe the first. I don't know. It's a tie. This is probably the most comfortable shoe that I own to this date. I did something a little bit different, however. I ended up going up the cleat size. So I usually go for a 12. I went for a 13 in this shoe. I did experience some heel slippage. However, in the Nike GT Cut 2, I went with the 12. It seemed a little bit tight. I do like my shoes to fit snugly and tight. Uh, I believe that you get more performance out of the shoe. However, I was just trying something different. So if you are going after the Nike GT Cut 3, you're definitely going to want to go true to size. All right. Otherwise, you might end up with some heel slip. Heel slip. Okay. So now that we got that out the way, let's talk about the tread pattern. I really like the tread pattern. It's squeaky. It's grippy. 